When I was a kid, I dreamed of traveling the world, and that dream was passed down by two angels in my life, my parents. Being a YouTuber has led to a lot of opportunities, and today one of the opportunities is getting to treat them to a luxury lodge in the wild. And I'm also taking my sister just to show her that I'm the favorite child. Today we're traveling by train. Kirat and I are in economy class. My parents have been put in first class. So this is pretty much going to be our situation for the next three hours. I'm so sure our parents are having a lot more fun right now. <laughs> oh man, their seats look so comfortable. You guys are so lucky. Show offs. <laughs> I feel like I'm I mean, sitting on metal it's right like, now. It's like we're back in school. You know the school chairs? The school. <laughs> it's like the school chairs. <laughs> the nostalgia. <laughs> We have just now arrived to Voi. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Got a creator. So I've been on the SGR a couple of times, but it was so interesting to see. This was the first time Kirat has ever been on a train. Yeah, first ever time. What was it like? It was alright. Hello. How was your trip? Wow. We, 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 we had a lovely trip. You had a good trip? Yes. Good trip? We saw some yeah, zebra and mom saw, saw a giraffe. And you guys are comfortable. Very comfortable. Yeah, I was... was it was okay. <laughs> Thank Welcome. You. Thank Hello. You. A one hour trip on that to get to a very beautiful lodge called Hildana Lodge. made it, excited to be here at the Hildana Lodge with my beautiful family. No ways, you guys. Are you guys seeing this? Yeah. <laughs> like literally right in front of the lodge. Look at all the zebras and the elephants. You'll notice the elephants, they're all like really dark grey. It's because they're having like a mud bath in the water. And then they keep chasing the zebras away. <laughs> so apparently they don't like zebras. My god. Rajvi. Oh. What a great surprise! I love you! <laughs> I love you too! <laughs> so our first experience, as soon as we've entered the Hildana Lodge. Oh wow, I'm super excited for this trip. It's called a chicken roulade. It's like heaven on a plate. Oh. First impressions? Amazing. Just amazing. Wonderful. You guys haven't seen the rooms yet. Huh? Surprise, huh? Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These table mats are so cool. I think I'm gonna take some for Shraddha House. Now I feel like as I travel again, I'll just be on the lookout for things that I can just shove into Shraddha House. And these mats, they're totally it. They're actually made out of something that's called sisal. In fact, they have a, an entire farm here. 22,000 acres of a sisal farm. And this is the product. Cheers! Cheers. <sighs> a beautiful three-course meal later, we're heading to the rooms and I'm super excited to actually show my parents what their room is going to look like. Welcome as I usher you into... That's if it's open. <laughs> Ooh. Welcome to your new home for the next three days. Some architecture. Wow. Wow. Oh, bad. The room is actually really nice. Very nice. Spacious, huge. Very nice. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> it's nice, yeah? Very nice. To see a big smile on their faces. Very yeah. <laughs> They're so cute when they smile. They do. Yeah, they don't smile that often. Actually, they do. Mommy does. Papa. Me. Are you going to put that in the vlog? <laughs> yeah, why not? Why? <laughs> <laughs> be like, why are you telling the world you don't smile? Because <laughs> then, did you see Papa's reaction? Ooh, nice architecture. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki, time for our room now. I think our room is actually a stick. That's for now. Oh, <gasps> yo. Oh, oh. What? Yo, they have their own sunday. 
I feel like Papa and Mommy should have been here. But the problem is it's like such a far walk for them. Oh, yeah. Guys, this place is beautiful. Hey. Yeah? Oh, there's a bathtub. Wait, what? A bathtub. <laughs> You're supposed to follow the walk to the bathroom. <laughs> what? Check it out, a bathtub with the view. Yo, look at that. Bibs. Okay. This is nice. Did I hear bath salts? Oh, I see it in the comments already. Brings parents to a getaway, ends up using the bubble bath himself. I see you, I see you. This is the life. My gosh, this, hands down, one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. Wow, it's an entire family. It's got those little calves. This is magical. The lighting, the color of the sky. Oh, wow. Good morning guys, you have to see this view, like just, wow. You know what I really love about safari is just the peacefulness of being at a lodge out in the wilderness. All you can hear are birds, insects, oh. do you hear that? Mm. Now, usually when I make videos on safari, the next day is waking up super early to go on a game drive to catch some wildlife. But today is a little bit different. We have something else planned for us. Also exciting is that I woke up at 7 a.m. feeling so energized. Ah. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good, how are you? <laughs> One of the best things about this lodge is that pretty much gets rid of the need of going for a game drive and it's so beautiful how they do this. So we were talking to the manager last evening and they were saying that they pump about 20,000 liters of water into this watering hole per day and they do this because right now this area is going through drought season and so it's just so beautiful to see how these guys are really helping save the lives of all these animals like they literally depend on this water to live you have like about 700 elephants that pass by here every single day and there's tons and tons of zebras last night we were watching as there was like a mix of zebras hyenas buffaloes i mean the amount of service these guys are doing for the animals plus an extra perk is we get to enjoy them right from here it's just so heartwarming thank you hildana on behalf of the animals thank you good morning good morning welcome thank you yeah. whoop, whoop, whoop. welcome aboard thank you Whew. it's hot i kind of wish i was those elephants right now <laughs> swimming in that water So Hildana Lodge is placed on 5,000 acres of beautiful wild land and on top of that they have 20,000 acres where they're planting sisal. So right now we're heading to their sisal factory to be given a little bit of a tour and then after that we'll be shown the farm. I mean getting there is a game drive in of itself. We're enjoying the African massage, we're seeing buffaloes, elephants, zebras on the way. <laughs> oh no, we're approaching a wild herd of buffalo. Oh, they're just cows. I was about to move away from them. Gosh, of lame. <laughs> I just knew you were gonna do that. It's a signature, you just have to do it. You know me. Making the funniest joke since 19... When was I born? 95. 95. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to the factory and we're being given a tour by the manager. Fun fact, Hildana is actually a type of sisal that they grow here. So here's a very interesting fact about sisal. 
when synthetics and plastics were introduced into the world, the sisal factories literally were wiped out because people weren't buying sisal anymore. And now, because we're moving more into an organic world, sisal is coming back into popularity, and people are literally using it to replace so many plastic products. So at the farm and factory, they've employed over 20,000 people from the local community. And the sisal production process is actually quite simple. Well, the overview of it at least. You harvest, crush, dry, smooth, separate, and bundle. Bam. Next up, we checked out their eco-friendly farm. So they also farm fish over here. And my dad and I are planning to have a fish pond at Shraddha House. So we're here to learn. Yeah, here to learn. The tour hasn't even started. My dad has gone straight into the questions. <laughs> but this is so cool. So they have tilapia and catfish over here. And judging by the numbers which are written here, there's a lot of fish. So like this tank, 2,892. Papa's best trip ever. I know, right? It's <laughs> having the time of his life. I have to say, this is the coolest system I've ever seen. So these chickens, they're suspended on the bridge. They poop into the water, which fertilizes the water. Then there's something called phytoplankton that grows in the water, which the catfish feed on. When the water is like fully fertilized, they also use it to grow this grass. And they water it once in three months. Look at this grass, piggies! Piggies, 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 piggies. Oh. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Piglets! <laughs> this is cute. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, you have learned a lot of information on yes. sustainable farming. Oh, brilliant. Are you excited to try them out at your farm? Uh, one day. Huh? So, one day soon. <laughs> Guys, this landscape is so interesting. So we're surrounded by trees that all dry and a lot of them have been taken down by elephants. Kind of looks like a tree graveyard. So surreal. Uh, in Kingdom Hearts, the Keyblade oh, yeah, War. The Keyblade War. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a game called Kingdom Hearts and there's a scene called Keyblade Graveyard. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I was actually thinking the same earlier. I was like, this looks so familiar. It looks like a castle. So out there during the game drive, you'll see a lot of things that look like this. This is literally a termite castle. Okay, not this one specifically, but like, I don't know if you can see that one there, way behind. This one is man-made, so this one is actually like a camouflage toilet. And on the other side, there's another one, which is a camouflage store. We're getting onto an observation deck to have a sundowner. Now, this is one of my most favorite things to do while I'm on safari. I was supposed to surprise my parents to it, but uh, they had to order their drinks beforehand. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, this is too good, man. Long life. Long, Long life. life. Long life. Cheers. Cheers, John. Cheers, John. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers. 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 just made it back to the lodge and look at it it's all lit up it's such a vibe and then we have it all to ourselves literally this entire place is our playground so we're about to have some dinner right now and it's your favorite Rajvi. the food so far has just been 10 out of 10 excellent good morning guys so lately I've been doing this exercise in the morning, it's called priming. I attended a Tony Robbins event about two weeks ago and he taught it to us where you sit down every morning and you just do some deep breaths, you feel a sense of peace and then you start feeling grateful for moments of the past and moments that you want to happen in the future and just really build this sense of power within yourself and I've been doing that every single day. It just makes me feel more and more incredible and life just looks so vibrant every single day it's crazy because when you start doing exercises like this all of a sudden it's like the universe wants to impress you and you start getting presented with opportunities like this today i was reflecting on how 
grateful I am for you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. It's crazy to think how in 2022, I felt like my life was so defeated. When I look back on it now, one thing that I learned during the event, in fact, was life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. And when you look at life in that way, everything starts looking like this world of possibilities. It's just so exciting. So yeah, I don't know. This is a message I want to share with you guys. If you're feeling like you're facing any challenges, if you're feeling like something's way too difficult, it's a challenge that's been brought into your life to make you grow stronger, to make you maybe feel a deeper sense of happiness or love towards whoever's around you. Because for me right now, I feel grateful for every single moment because I know how precious it is. And yeah, I just wanted to share this morning reflection with you guys. Also, look at this. I, I just can't get over it, seriously. Bam. Elements. This place got a pool and uh, uh, it's dragging me. It's dragging me back. The pool is a heated pool and oh my gosh, I mean enjoying an infinity pool with that view there. I can't get enough of this place. Like this has to be uh, one of the top places that I've stayed at. Today has been such an incredible day relaxing here at the lodge and just like that three days have already gone by like time has flown so quickly we're enjoying what is supposed to be our last sunset over here but the clouds are coming in hot looks like it's going to rain we're bringing in the rains here in Toveta and I have really enjoyed myself have you guys had an incredible time yes. Yes. okay so I have a question for you guys am I your most favorite child now mm. <laughs> well. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much at the Hildana Lodge for organizing this trip. The staff has been amazing. The stay here has been such an incredible experience. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Woo! Hey yo, check this. Welcome to my crib, man. It's this whole thing play some 5,000 acres of land. Man, got my pet over there. He's called Leroy. Hey, Leroy. Leroy, hey. Didn't want to listen to me right now, but he's my pet. <laughs>